Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, or night, as the case may be. Because in the world of the internet, time doesn't exist. It is always morning somewhere, or afternoon, or evening, or night. Uh, my cooking videos seem to be popular. People seem to like them a lot. Which is quite entertaining, don't you think? I think that's quite funny. So, uh, I'm going to do another one, but the, the purpose of this one is uh, I'm going to do a day's eating. And again, to prove that just because I'm a lorry driver doesn't mean I eat badly. In fact, quite the opposite. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I'm probably going to do them on separate days, though. Just for easiness, you know, because I don't always have a lot of time to cook lunch and stuff, or make lunch. I don't think it'll be a cooked lunch. I don't know what I'm going to make yet. But the first one is, I'm going to show you how to do toast without a grill. It's ingenious. Can't claim credit for that one. My brother did it. Uh, yes, yeah, so there we are. We're going to do that. I'm wearing different clothes for a change. Look, I'm always in a black super dry top, aren't I, when well, I'm making these videos, because I've got hundreds of them. Although this is super dry as well, I seem to have developed a seriously bad super dry habit. I wonder if there could be free clothes for advertising them. Probably not, because I don't think I'm, the, the videos are targeted at their sort of market, are they? So yes, there we go. Breakfast, dinner. No, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Because dinner isn't in the middle of the day unless you're in the north. And you northern people... Oh, we're all over the place, quite frankly, aren't you? You call a bread roll a balm, or a thingamy cake, or a, a round bread thing. So I'm going to stop waffling now and get on with it. Autumn has finally arrived after that heat wave we've just had. I'm in uh, the Republic of Ireland, and it's cold and raining. Yeah, Van den Bosch, hello! <laughs> There's some cows in the field. I'm now going to wander up there, shoot one, butcher it, and show you how to cook an entire cow in a lorry on a camping gas stove. Okay? Onwards! exciting aspect of uh, being on the P&O boat is what I like to call deck roulette. It's all about where you're parked and if you're on the ramp driven up you have to reverse off and it's fun because I like challenge. Evidently the driver behind me doesn't like challenge because he got the shunter to reverse it off for him. is reverse in a straight line. You watch, I bet I make a pig's ear of this on video. It's not so bad actually because if you're, um, I'm really light, I'm only 22 tons, but if you're heavy on the ramp, especially when it's raining, you can't make any mistakes because there's a good chance you won't be able to correct yourself by driving forwards. because you just can't get up it.
best bet. Luke's top tips. Your best bet is with things like this. Just stay calm and steady. Don't try and rush. Slowly does it. And you'll get there in the end. So when you start trying to rush or you panic, you make mistakes and then it all goes horribly wrong. And if you hit the sides of the ferry, you're not going to win because the sides of the ferry are very strong. See? There we go. It's a bit harder in the rain because I can't see it in the mirrors. I'm not being big headed by the way by filming this. Parts of my driving leave a lot to be desired. But um, this is one of my specialities. It was my first job was with Nolan's and my first ever trip. I picked up the truck in New Ross, drove it to Dublin and had to reverse on the ferry. And that was my first ever reversing manoeuvre after passing my test on my own. And I made a complete balls up of it. But I did it, done it hundreds of times since, and you just sort of get the swing of it. And that's what you do. That's how you get off a ferry backwards. I only saw this bloody Dublin wheel the other day, I hadn't seen it before. <laughs> then I don't come out of P&O very well anymore, really. And if you're on the P&O boat, another top tip, keep your ticket, because you needed to get out. For those of you who don't know, that's the O2 Dublin, which used to be the Point Depot. My God, it's all changed down here, huh? It's ages since it came down here. Literally get metres away, but you don't really see it, because I go to the other port, the other part of the port. Can you hear me? Good evening, how are you doing? Horrible, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. Shit! Just these are French? Mad! They just beat Wales! <laughs> what am I doing listening to a French band? Damn it! Right, I've now dropped the um, trailer. And I'm going to wash and fuel up the lorry. So first of all we're going over to give the lorry a drink. And then a bath. Because even though it's raining, at the moment I'm having a 24 hour break here and I should be leaving tomorrow afternoon, evening, 24 hours from now, and probably working all night. 24 hour breaks are bloody stupid inventions, if you ask me. The 36 was much better, but there we go. That, my friends, is what we call a rolling room. People sit in it 
and it get, rolls along the road and then you can just get off wherever you want. Isn't that amazing? Technology is amazing, isn't it? They even have them on rails where many rooms are connected together so hundreds of people can travel at the same time. Where would we be without transport? It'd all be fucked. That's where we'd be. Sorry. <laughs> I filled up the lorry with um, fuel, about 600 litres. It's now time to wash it because it's filthy. I've prepared my implements, the brushes, the lance, the bucket. Bert is up there, who is, um, surprisingly, proving quite a hit with the ladies. They were, they were screaming and pointing at him on the road back there. Or it was me. I am devilishly handsome, of course. But I think it was Bertie. He's going to shout instructions at me through the window. What was that? I'm sorry, what I go? He's notoriously bad tempered. So, anyway, I must work fast. The light is fading. Normally it takes me an hour to wash the lorry. Although, quite frankly, I'm not sure I can be bothered today, but there we are. Must get on with it. Go back in there. We've just had a freak snowstorm. Note to Jenny Kem, the people who advertise on the back page of um, the truck magazines. You don't need to fake up a picture of a truck covered in soap. You can just take a picture of a truck covered in soap. If you require one... God, I sound like I'm ranting about an advert now, don't I? I'm not really. It started raining. I better get on with this. And there you have it. All nice and clean. Although come the morning... I will get up and it will probably be covered in spotty patches because I washed it in the dark. See, I can see one already. Look there. Oh, for God's oh. sake. Oh, Lord above. Oh, look, you can see my wayward hair. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hello. Change plan. As is often the way in the transport industry, nothing is ever set in stone. Um, just as I had settled down for the evening, I have now got to run up the road and uh, move two trailers. But on the plus side, it means I can go to Virginia, where my car is, and take a little mini car for a blast tomorrow. So, uh, yes, off to Navan. Home of, well, not home of, but where Pierce Brosnan's from. Hello, I'm Pierce Brosnan. My sort of Pierce Brosnan accent. I better get going up to the Navan. Name's Bond, James Bond. That is a shit impression, isn't it? <laughs> Never said I could do impressions. Onward! Lonely, depressed, suicidal. I'd wager if you're a driver, at least one of those. My car seems to have blown up. Then call the Samaritans. On 1850, 60, 90, 90. I'm not for a second actually thinking of this, making light of the Samaritans or any of those ailments. I myself had serious depression once, you may find it hard to believe. What with my cheery demeanor of these, the videos that I make these days, but mostly the, uh, cheeriness of my videos is chemically induced with a drug I call ketamine. It's the only way I can work effectively. Disclaimer, I'm not on drugs. Onward!
was an eventful evening. Hence I'm wearing the hat. This is the event hat. And I'm covered in bloody crap. I had to bring a trailer back to Virginia in the end. I went two minutes over my 15 hours. I'm going to lose my license. What am I going to do? I know nothing. On the plus side, as I mentioned earlier, I'm now in Virginia and my car is here. You won't be able to see it, but there's my car. It's an insane Mini Cooper S. It's insane. It's too fast for me. Because I can't drive cars very well. Anyway, the ultimate aim of this video is so I can show you breakfast. Why anybody likes these food ones, I don't know. And how to make toast without a grill. It's been a long run up. Oh, I'm rambling now. Good night. Hello. I'm now going to make breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. This is a frying pan. This is a kettle, a toy kettle. I'm going to show you how to make toast in a frying pan. Isn't that exciting? <clears throat> this is bread. I had to buy this bread specially, I'll have you know, because I'm not eating bread at the moment, because I can't control my butter intake when I eat bread. And therefore I get fat. Now I can't open the bread. So I'll probably end up feeding the rest of this to the birds. I've got white bread as well. I don't normally eat white bread, you see. But it's easier to show that it's toasted. What to do, anyway, is... Oh, they can't get two slices in a pan. Damn it! Is... Place it in the frying pan. Much like warming up the mash. Put it on a really low heat. And the bread will toast. Mm hmm. Now the kettle's boiling. This is an egg. I have egg and bacon for breakfast most mornings. The egg is a beautiful creation because you can eat the egg from the chicken in the morning. You can then kill the chicken and have it for lunch. This is butter. And this, to my eternal shame, is cheap bacon from probably ill-treated pigs in Denmark. But the Tesco value middle bacon is the best bacon in my opinion. Sorry, Tesco market value. <coughs> so I'm gonna wait for that toast and I shall come back to you in a moment. <coughs> and there we have it. Damn it, toast. Look, toast. You can make toast in a lorry without a grill. In a lorry, foil is your friend because you normally have to cook everything in one pan. You just wrap that up in foil. Toast, of course, was invented by um, General Toast during the First World War before this toast was unheard of. Right, so the toast is there wrapped up this way. And the egg and bacon is cooking. I've mentioned this many times before, don't use oil. You can cook anything you like in a lorry, in a frying pan, without oil, in a good stick pan. You just need a lid. And it cooks the eggs to perfection. You see, they're pretty much done now, already. And that's not smoke, before anybody says anything, that's steam, because I had the lid on. So you have perfectly cooked eggs, without any splatter, or grease, or hideous, hideous don't know where that was going. Grease. Now to serve it. First, the most important meal of the day. Breakfast, of course, was invented by the Earl of Breakfast in 2001. Mm. See? So you have to make toast and lorry. And I'm giving you history lessons. Wikipedia. True.
Uh, you can see now where I, I don't eat bread anymore because of my butter problem. I'm going to eat that now with my cup of tea and listen to an old Adam and Joe podcast. Tasty time! And there we have it. Another six, 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 six. Oh, now I'm burping on camera. This is just hideous, isn't it? Another successfully... Cre- oh, well, my fucking God. <laughs> Another successfully completed breakfast. And a belly full of butter and bacon. Just to answer a couple of questions that people love to ask me. This up here is a snowboard. In the off chance I get snow, or snowed in, now I can just snowboard myself to safety. And this is my Adam and Joe Six Music t-shirt that I got in Glastonbury when I met Mr. Adam Bukeston. In fact, I might put the picture on at the end of this video, I was wearing a top hat. So, good times. Good times indeed. I hope you all have a good day, and look out for the next video, which will involve some lunch. Probably. Yeah.